Hi everyone, welcome back to our small Indian repertoire for today. Today we're going to show you how to test the decompression bulb. So we have a new decompression bulb and we have the old decompression bulb. From our previous video, we demonstrated how to do compression properly, uh, compression testing on the two stroke Victor more and with the faulty decompression bulb. And we use the same decompression bulb that we had problem before. So today, we're going to demonstrate how to test this um, compression bulb. I have found uh, different ways of doing testing for the comp decompression bulb to see the differences between the two. One is using a vacuum tester or a vacuum pump and one is the scale. And you're wondering what's the something to do with the scale so how does it work and how, how do you test a compression valve with a scale do you just wait it well i'll show you the i'll show you what the tricks of using a scale so we'll, we'll try this one also this is a leak detector that we'll try but i'm afraid that the this won't do the job because um the decompression valve the leak detector that we're going to test from here is not fully sealed so we can't really test for the pressure or compression inside the pump so let's get started okay we'll start with the new decompression valve we just temporarily attach the restrictor for now to do the test first is we have to do the test with a vacuum test so you place the the vacuum pump into the restrictor and you notice that you watch for this one that's the, the valve and when I vacuum the, the pump we'll see that it will also retract the valve in so that's how you test one way of testing the decompression some they, they have to attach the pipe and suck from the, the end of the pipe with the mouth and and to see if this one is creates a vacuum inside so you can do that also so this one is is our reference a new decompression valve and we'll do the we'll do we'll do it on the other one So you see, no matter how you how I pump, it won't pull the the bulb in. So that's definitely faulty. That's because of the diaphragm inside, possibly it's damaged or cracked. So now the other way of testing is the the weight. So we are going to to test how many grams the compression of the valve until it's pushed in touches like that so from that point to that point and we measure the weight of the the compression and also with this one from here to there so first is we have to place the and we have to zero this one and then we have to push this one until it touches it's about uh, 38 we just do a rough uh, measurement so it's about 28 okay we'll try with this with the other one so we'll set this one to zero and you tell me what's the what's the reading because I'm looking from the from underneath until it touches the one still not touching it still that one still not touching okay that one is touching what's the reading Can you tell me what's the reading so from my previous measurement I have around 170 grams I can't see from the, the top because I'm looking from the bottom part okay so I'm sure you, you you'll see that it's going around 170 so this is how you test 
the the tension of the the compression of the valve with compared to the the faulty one even if you have partially working decompression valve you might have a very good uh, diaphragm you still have a good diaphragm i mean when you do um, a vacuum test you're able to retract the valve but if the diaphragm is too stiff that tension of this will vary also will change and that will also affect the the starting of the engine okay it's how easy to uh, test the decompression valve it's very straightforward there's no drama so thanks for watching and i hope we learned something for today and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel leave a comment and if you have any questions or any suggestions or comments please leave a comment and i would like to hear from you so thanks for watching and see you next time